Hi folks, this is Pops Martin and today I want to show you a really nice and very useful kind of MIDI controller for many purposes, but I want to focus on one purpose today. Uh, I have loaded contact, Native Instruments contact, and I have loaded an instrument, violins, and you can see in this virtual keyboard where the violin notes are that you can play on the keyboard. And there are some colored keys down here, and these are used to switch articulations. Like you can see here, there is, for example, legato, there's tremolo, there's staccato, there's pizzicato, and some more stuff. Yeah? So you need to be able to access these very low keys here to switch the articulations while you perform here. Now, the problem might be that on your desk you don't have enough space for an 88 key keyboard. So let me switch to the other screen and I will show you a 49 key keyboard, which basically means you have space for four octaves at a time. And obviously you cannot play the entire range that you would have with an 88 key keyboard. Yeah, So you probably, you have to switch octave up until you get most of this range here so you can perform your violin stuff. But once you do that, you have no access anymore to these articulation switches on this 49 key keyboard, right? And even if you manage to get an 88 key keyboard, and this one is one that even has a lot of nice features as well, you would be able to access the articulation switch keys even if you play somewhere in the upper register for some violin sounds. And this particular keyboard here, wow, that's amazing because it would show you with these small LEDs, it will, would show you the colors of the articulation switches. So let me switch back to the other screen again. As you can see here, there's like five keys that would be red and three keys that would be green and the keyboard, this particular Native Instruments keyboard, would show you the colors. But um, to be honest, is it really helpful to show you the colors? Because still, you have absolutely no idea what these colors or these particular keys actually mean. So you cannot read legato. You cannot read sordino. You cannot read tremolo. You just see by the color of the LEDs that there is something different, for example, articulation switches, but which switches or which articulations you need to memorize. And that's a bit hard if you have lots of instruments and you want to use lots of different instruments, how can you really memorize all that? Now, long story short, there is something really amazing out there that is called the Elgato Stream Deck. And that's basically a small version of it with 15 keys where you can add custom functionality to these keys and you can basically use a small kind of image and display this in the OLED display. So you can really, really customize that small, yeah, let's call it a remote USB remote um, keypad. Yeah. There's even a bigger one if you don't want to have 15 keys, but instead 32 keys, you could get this one. It's not exactly cheap, but uh, maybe in a bit you will understand how helpful this can actually be, right? So, again, back to the other screen. Here you can already see the software that comes with the Elgato Stream Deck and you can see a representation of the 15 keys on that stream deck. And you can already see that there is something here that correspond uh, corresponds with these uh, articulation keys. So that means I can use the stream deck as a MIDI controller. And now I want to show you how you can actually do that. And uh, I will not go through every single step or how you configure Stream Deck stuff. There is lots of videos out there, but I, I want to focus on this particular use case. So first of all, what you have to do is basically click on this icon here, Stream Deck Store, 
don't worry, you don't have to pay again after you got your Stream Deck. That's a free software. And there you get plugins. There's lots of plugins. And I want to search for MIDI. And there you will see one plugin that is actually called MIDI. And you just click on install and it will download this plugin and install it. That's it, pretty much. Yeah. And then once you have done that, you will see here a folder that is called MIDI. And inside the MIDI, you have lots of different things you can do using MIDI. Okay. But right out of the box, it won't work because obviously the Stream Deck is not a MIDI tool. It's a tool where you can basically run software from your computer. You can uh, add key commands or whatever shortcuts and for different software. Lots of stuff, but it's not particularly a MIDI tool. So what you need to do is you need to go to Google and search for something called Loop MIDI if you are on Windows. On Mac it's probably slightly different, but it's possible as well. And you, if you're on Windows, you just search for this Loop MIDI and you download and install Loop MIDI. And what you do after you have installed that is you get this small software here where you can create loopback MIDI ports or virtual MIDI ports. And that's relatively straightforward. You just have to basically type the names of these virtual MIDI ports exactly the way that I have typed them. So you need one MIDI port that is called Stream Deck to DAW and another one that is called DAW to Stream Deck. Yeah. Again, type them exactly the way I've typed them. That's really important because this MIDI plugin in the Stream Deck software will utilize exactly these names. Don't type it differently. Make sure you type it exactly like I did. Okay. And once you have done that, um, any MIDI command that you program here, and we'll get into that in a second, will be sent to these MIDI ports, to these virtual MIDI ports, and can be used inside of Contact or any other virtual instrument. Obviously, you can control anything through MIDI. I will just focus on that particular one now because it's pretty common to use Contact. Now, in Contact, you go to the settings, to this gear icon, and here you have the category called MIDI. And there you should see now the Stream Deck to DAW and the DAW to Stream Deck. Now for the inputs of contact, you want to control contact from the MIDI port that is called Stream Deck to DAW. So I have to activate that, for example, on port A. And that's it. And now for the outputs. So if contact outputs MIDI, where should it send the MIDI? It should send it to the DAW to Stream Deck. And you have to switch that on. Okay. Now what happens now after you've done that? You can actually start controlling your software. So for example, if you look at the first articulation key here, I press on my Stream Deck and you will see that it's immediately selected. And now I can switch through these different articulations that I have already programmed on my Stream Deck, right? You can see how it switches here while I press the Stream Deck. And you can see what I press here by looking at these small icons. And the nice thing is, even if you, for example, switch an articulation here in the software, it will be immediately sent to the Stream Deck as well. So if I click, for example, here on the first articulation called Legato, boom, it shows immediately. Yeah, So that's kind of a back and forth updating. Really nice. All right. So uh, let's just try how that, let's say, actually works. So for example, here I have a key that basically shows me what 
kind of software or what kind of virtual instruments I'm currently using. It says, I, I have to confess it's pretty small, but string ensemble, that's what it says. And I have put an actual note there so I can play one note, one MIDI note. If I press that key on my stream deck, yeah, you can hear that. And now I will not move my mouse. I will just leave it here and I will just use my stream deck now and I will switch through different articulations. So for example, yeah. So you can already understand that now you can basically use these different articulations in your performance while you play, for example, on, uh, on your right hand. You play the actual notes on your 49 key keyboard or 61 key keyboard or whatever keyboard. And the left hand you have on your stream deck and you on the stream deck itself you can actually read what the articulations are. So you can actually see tremolo. So you know if you press that key you will get tremolo or pizzicato, whatever. So it's much more helpful than just this kind of stupid color code that tells you basically nothing and you have to memorize lots of stuff which of the red keys is which you rather do it like that okay so that's one thing you can do with this stream deck and now I want to go uh, through how this is done and how I do that is basically I go to a profile that I called main which is pretty much empty there's just this one uh, empty button or just kind of a internet link. I just remove that, delete. So now I have an empty stream deck in front of me. It's totally dark, the actual device. I don't have a camera set up now, so I can't show you the real thing, but it's actually completely dark. And now in the MIDI category, I have lots of different commands that could be related to MIDI. And what I want to do is note on off, because how do I switch articulations here? I switch them by actually playing that quotes, note. Yeah. So let's put that here, for example, note on off. And now I want to call that, what is the actual articulation called? It's called legato. So I just put legato and it immediately shows up on the key. And there's kind of a weird MIDI connector icon behind. I don't like that too much, so let's change that. And we can go to, for example, the Stream Deck icon collection. And once it has loaded, yeah, there we go. And there's lots of icons that you can basically choose from to pick another icon and I use this one which is almost empty and uh, yeah now you can see the actual word legato pretty easily now how do I activate that particular one first of all I have to understand that this keyboard is configured in a way that the middle C note is the C3, not the C4. So I just switch that to middle note C3. And now I know that this C down here is the C0. So I just go there and look for the C0. There it is. And uh, just because, uh, just to make sure, basically, wow, what did I do? Uh, this. 64, which is kind of medium velocity. I just make it full velocity if I press that, just to make sure. And now one more thing is, <clears throat> I don't want to only push the button, I want to make it latch. And I will explain you in a minute why latch would be the right one to use. So, yeah. And now MIDI output is Stream Deck, Stream Deck to DAW, MIDI import DAW to Stream Deck. So all fine now. 
The only thing I want to do is I want to use two icons. Here it's selected two icons for the key. So I click on the second one, which is currently empty, and I go here and uh, select image from my computer and let me just pick oh I can't find it right now too bad so let's just create a new one so create new icon and that will open a website by Elgato where you can actually create a new icon and I just want to Yes, I accept all cookies. Thank you very much. And uh, why can't I put the background color there? Hello? There we go. And now I want to make it red, as red as it gets. That's basically all I need. Or maybe I make it a little darker, not that bright red. Let's make it something like that. That should be fine. And now I save the key, save as, and in, I store it in my picture folder, Stream Deck key, red. All right, and that's all I need to do for now. So let's go here, select image from hard disk, and somewhere, you can't see that right now because I don't want to show you all my pictures, but here I selected the red picture, which is my second icon now, compared to the first one, yeah? And what it does, you will see it in a second when we start doing a second um, button. And... Uh, since I'm a lazy guy, I don't want to basically set up everything for every single key again and again and again. So I just hold the shift key and drag this icon. Oops, it should be. Eh? Wow. Hello? Maybe I should just copy it, right? I think it doesn't go with a, with a shortcut or something. I have to copy and paste. So now this second one, let's check in contact. The second articulation would be called Sordino. So I just change that title or label to Sordino. And uh, the, the text is a little bit too big right now. So I just go here and just make the text a little bit smaller so I can properly read it. Now, obviously, this is not the C0, this is the C sharp 0. So I have to change that, C sharp 0. And now we're already done. So I can already switch between Legato and Sordino. And now you can see the active key is using the second icon. And that's why it's basically with red background. So I can easily see that it's active. Yeah, so I can switch back and forth, and you can see it here in contact as well. So Dino Legato, I can switch back and forth. And this way, you can basically set up all your articulations for this particular instrument. And then, if we go back to what I did, is I have one profile that is currently my default profile where I have set up like 14 different instruments from my contact library. And now I can see exactly that on my Stream Deck. And if I want to use, for example, cello instrument, then I do basically two things. I close that violin stuff. I open the cellos. And now on my Stream Deck, I push the cello button and I get all these articulations for the cello because they are slightly different. Some are exactly the same, but here, for example, octave run up, we can check that. So I just play a note. And now I switch to this octave run up. 
Oh, shit. I should actually set this note that is playing like two octaves lower. Let's make it C3, is it over there? Yeah. And now I switch back to legato. So I hope that explains a little bit how you can use these articulations. And uh, here I have a button where I basically switch back to the main profile. I press that on my Stream Deck and we are back on this page. Yeah. Obviously I could make another back button that goes to an even higher level where because uh, only 15 keys that's not enough to basically set up all the instruments in contact and all the other instruments that I have. <clears throat> so you can really create kind of a menu where you set up all your instruments and then you switch to, for example, brass ensemble trumpet. Let's or brass ensemble. Let's just check that out. I close that. Let's go to brass ensemble. Brass ensemble and key. NKI and now on the stream deck I go to this brass ensemble key boom there we are and now I have the articulations there sustain staccato blast decrescendo sforzando crescendo swell and so on and I just now I noticed that I haven't set it up properly ha <laughs> ha so it's not actually switching here for some reason and I have to check that. So it was kind of a bad example. Let's try just the trumpet because it's still a work in progress for me. <coughs> so on the stream deck I press trumpet and now let's see if it works. Yes, it works. So now I can switch through all these articulations here and at the same time play whatever I want. Yeah, that's it for now. I think that was helpful and gives you some ideas what you can do. If you have a stream deck anyway, then why not use it for that? Because now you get the exact info that you actually need and you get visual feedback that you have actually activated, for example, the blast articulation or the swell articulation. And you can use that while playing if you just put this small stream deck to the left of your keyboard. Right hand plays, left hand switches articulations. Wonderful thing. There's no questions. Oh, which button do I have to press? Awesome stuff. So again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't worry. You just type your question in the comments below. And uh, yeah, see you on another one. Bye-bye.